the U.S. DNA is all about innovation. And when you think about crypto, and we should call it the internet financial system, let's call it that instead of DeFi or decentralized finance. DeFi sounds defiant, but if we use seman better semantics like internet financial system, what that is telling us is the internet was built out without that financial system. Nobody knew commerce or financial services were going to take place on the internet. In fact, no one will put their credit card on the internet, if you'll remember. Now, of course, that is not true. And so this is the layer of the internet that the engineers skipped in the early days. And now we're just introducing it. Kathy Wood believes that crypto has two major tailwinds that not many people are talking about. This week she was interviewed by Barons. Within it, she broke down two major catalysts that crypto has going for it. The first is regulation. With the SEC losing lawsuits left and right, the path towards a spot Bitcoin ETF and constructive crypto regulation has now become clear. As soon as a spot Bitcoin ETF is approved and clear regulation is there, it opens the door to trillions of dollars of capital from institutions. Kathy also pointed out that next year is an election year and crypto has bipartisan support, meaning both sides are in support of crypto. The second reason Kathy believes crypto is inevitable is because the bottom line is that blockchain is just a more efficient way at transacting wealth. Right now, to go from one party to another, a transaction on average has to go through seven different processes and intermediaries, all of which take a percentage. Bitcoin and crypto cuts out all of these middlemen and is therefore much more efficient and cheaper. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where Kathy reveals her outlook on the market. Also guys, I have just launched a daily 5 minute crypto newsletter. I was so sick of seeing people charge hundreds to thousands of dollars per month for on-chain crypto data and breakdowns. So to give out as much value to you as possible, I am sending out a 5 minute daily newsletter which will cover expert predictions, breakdowns of on-chain crypto data, and any breaking news that you need to know all in a nutshell. And my promise to you is it will be completely free forever. Click the first link in my description, enter your email to join over 5,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. If you don't like it, I will personally send you one whole dollar so you literally have nothing to lose. Now here's Kathy Wood and her Bitcoin outlook. This is a new asset class and this is what we need to happen. It's what happened, believe it or not, with derivatives. And there were court cases around derivatives that went to the Supreme Court. And we do believe Coinbase's suit with the SEC or the SEC suit against Coinbase will go on appeal to the Supreme Court ultimately. So I think uh, the judicial system, legislative system will balance this executive branch ruling by enforcement, which is not healthy for us. We're losing a lot of innovators to other countries. And that's unfortunate because the US DNA is all about innovation. And when you think about crypto and we should call it the internet financial system let's call it that instead of DeFi or decentralized finance DeFi sounds defiant but if we use some man better semantics like internet financial system what that is telling us is the internet was built out without that financial system nobody knew commerce or financial services were going to take place on the internet in fact no one will put their credit card on the internet if you'll remember now of course that is not true. And so this is the layer of the internet that the engineers skipped in the early days. And now we're just introducing it. And it's going to collapse the cost of financial transactions. If you look at financial transactions today to go from merchant to consumer, there are seven intermediate steps. All of those are toll takers. And this could collapse to peer to peer or just one intermediary, like a digital wallet like Cash App, for example. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of costs out of the system, which is what technology does. We're very excited about the future. We do think there's a pendulum shift brewing back from passive or benchmark sensitive. And to us, there's not much difference between those two to truly active management. And I think we began to see it in the first half before interest rates lifted here again. And we do think interest rates are going to come down because we think deflation is the bigger risk, not inflation out there. But we were happy to see the broadening out 
of the market when it came to innovation. Love that. We have big plans. We said it when we started ARC, we want to own innovation. That sounded very bold. And in the public markets, if you think about it, when people think about disruptive innovation, they do think about ARC. Now we're moving into the private markets with a venture fund, which we started late last year. We're democratizing venture capital. That's what our clients have been asking us to do. And so you'll find Arc Venture on the Titan app. So we are moving, we not only have a social media and a social marketing strategy, but now a social distribution strategy. You can buy Arc Venture on, on the Titan app and we're getting access to deals, to company opportunities that many institutions and foundations are not getting. And that's because of our go-to-market strategy and the desire of venture, many venture capitalists to participate in this democ democratization movement because it helps their companies. It uh, gives them more visibility and it helps them attract more talent. So really excited about that. And then in the crypto world, we have a, a number of strategies brewing and very excited uh, about how they will scale, especially as regulation evolves and gives institutions more certainty that this new asset class, which is very little correlation to other asset classes, has a place in their portfolios. So venture, crypto, but we think the low hanging fruit is in the public markets as we move back from passive towards active as disruptive innovation disrupts the traditional world order and the Closing comment here, Andy, is we believe that truly disruptive innovation is valued in the public and private equity markets at roughly $15 trillion today. We think that's going to scale to $200 trillion by 2030. So that's almost a 40% compound annual rate of return for the innovations themselves. And it is our jobs to pick our spots and, and give our clients exposure to some of the most amazing opportunities in innovation history. Okay, uh, so in terms of regulation, what has been happening is the SEC has been really ruling by enforcement actions. And uh, that's not a very healthy way of doing this. So what is happening now is the judicial system and the legislative system are coming into play. That's what's great about the American system. You have the three branches of government, and of course, Gary Gensler was appointed by the president, had to be approved by the Senate, but still, I think of it as an executive appointment. And now we've got the court saying, okay, the SEC is overstepping its bounds, and we've got the legislative branch, this will become an, an election year issue, crypto, coming through with bipartisan support. Interestingly, not perfect, but you, we have Democrats and Republicans together on these bills coming through bills around uh, stable coins and market structure and so forth. This is a new asset class, and this is what we need to happen. So there's Kathy Wood and her perspective on the regulatory landscape, the approaching election year, and the inherent efficiency of blockchain technology compared with the traditional financial system. It's essential to understand these catalysts to make informed decisions in the rapidly evolving crypto world. If Kathy's insights have ignited a spark in you, don't forget to stay continuously informed with my daily five minute crypto newsletter. From expert predictions to on-chain data breakdowns and timely updates, we've got you covered. Just click the link below and join our thriving community of over 10,000 crypto enthusiasts. If you found this session valuable, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow crypto enthusiasts, and subscribe to my channel for more enlightening discussions. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video and that provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one, and as always, all the best.